All right, all right, all right. Y'all gonna learn today. In episode 22 of Scram Punks, we're gonna talk about is Sony AWOL for 2019? Plus the US government versus loot boxes. And Holiday Games 2018, a bust, along with video game awards and, and a lot more stuff. But before we get too deep into that, I just want to introduce everybody to the illustrious, illustrious panel that we have today. First off, your boy, you know who he is. Dirk McGurk, that's his mother name, Dirk Riggity. What's going on, brother? What's going on with you, man? Man, just, you know, doing starting some havoc, as you can see about my fallout video. But we'll get into that later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that later. But besides the havoc, I've been carving up. How's been your Thanksgiving, brother? What you've what you been carving up during the holiday season? Oh, man, all kind of shit. Had a good old time. <laughs> Chilling with family, man. You know, no doubt, fun. No doubt. Oh yeah, get some. You get you get some gaming in there too, brother. Oh yeah, most definitely. Always, man. Always. You know, that's what I like to do. So, I always yeah, make man. time for that. Absolutely. I um snuck out. I hope nobody from my extended family's listening. So I was sitting there eating, right? <laughs> and my mother-in-law lives right around the corner from us. So I was like, oh, I'll be back. I gotta go get me some coffee. That's the code. That's the code signal. To, I'm leaving y'all motherfuckers. I'm gonna go play me some game. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I come back, they was mad as hell. We were up there playing taboo. Where were you at? Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but that's All right. me. I'm a, I'm a low dirty bastard. All right. With that being said, the other other co-host, you know, the one, the only TRS Fusion Wolf. What's going on, brother? How, how was your turkey day? How was your holiday? Man, I did the covert ops escape mode. They had us uh, at a Thanksgiving dinner at a uh, re fancy restaurant. So we had all the uh, plain kind of eatables and i was surrounded predominantly by ladies no offense to the ladies if they are watching but i had to escape and so that, 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 that you know so i had to get back to my uh cutting up of my mutt fruit yeah and my <laughs> mylurk meat okay you know, which, I, which i'm actually you know doing saying? right now journey in the wasteland that's code words oh, for journey man. in the wasteland you know what right? I'm big up to everybody oh i forgot i gotta tweet this out but hey look man we, we still got some people that popped up in the chat. What's up, philosopher dude? Oh. What's up, none of your business? Hey, guys. Hey, we appreciate you. Hey, also, Cali Rex in the house. He says, hey, at MM2K, you damage control of 76 hard on Twitter. Laugh out loud. Hey, you know, I got to do what I got to do. We're going to get into all that. But uh, so besides skipping out on the ladies TRS, what else did what, you know? What was you was you playing? You was playing Fallout 76, right? The and ultimate addiction right now. In? That, that's oh, okay. the ultimate addiction right now. Gotcha. I, I'm actually playing it right now as we speak. See, I'm not the only. See, y'all don't y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get it. But you will. You gonna learn today. And <laughs> that being said, of course, is me, your boy MM2K, aka Radio Raheem D, mother D. That's a, I keep forgetting it's D, right? Okay, yep, D. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know what I've been doing. I'm, I feel energized. I feel good. I feel good because Fallout 76, that's right, is out. It's scratching that Fallout itch, that Bethesda itch. I tell you, I'm a Bethesda fanboy, and I'm enjoying the game. You know what man, I'm saying? It really is. It's really scratching that itch, man, for real. I'm loving yeah. this. And we're going to talk about it because Dirk Griggity is not <laughs> in the same camp. If you could see our DMs. TRS is the ultimate lobbyist, right? He should be the ultimate. <laughs> he should be selling pharmaceuticals to every single congressman from here to the <laughs> Northeast Atlantic. He's been trying to lobby Dirk Griggity so hard. Dirt is not having it. <laughs> hey, man, I, I'm sorry, man. I, 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 can, I can spend 60 bucks on, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, there's, there's some, so many other pleasantries. Well, I, he won't well, even buy the Mexican I'm sorry. one. 30 yeah. bucks now, shit. Now yeah, it's 30 yeah. bucks, man. Yeah, yeah, he, he, would you, yeah. So, and, and to speak of Fallout 76, there's a funny story. So, I'm getting it on PlayStation as well. So, I can, play, I can play with my Heck brother, yeah. J Dub City. The J Dub City. Excuse me, and that punk ass all day, all day digital with his punk ass. I'm going to play with them. <laughs> um, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited at the prospects of um, being able to play the game 
on the PlayStation 4, but yet when my wife is going ballistic and forcing me to be downstairs and watch the TV and the Oprah's and the o OWN network and the Greenleaf with her, I can just sit in my, my man recliner and I can play on my PSP Vita um, or my P or my Sony um, Ericsson phone. I'm looking, I'm buying either one of those. So I'm going to have the remote accessibility and I can play it mobile as long as I'm in the house. And I can't do that with the Xbox because they don't have anything similar to that at this moment. They do have the remote play that you can do on the PC, but not to like a handheld device. And that that's cool. That's going to be a cool feature for me to, for me to try out. So I'm, I'm amped about that. Um, but before we, we, we go into these topics and, and talk a little bit more stuff. Um, well, dang, we did, we, we did cover all the, the, the game and stuff, man. Is there, is there any other games on anybody's radar while I, while I tweet this stuff out? Well, for me, there's one more thing. I just wanted to let you uh, know that I myself am not exactly a one console man. So I'm trying to get the, uh, even though I'm a cheap bastard, I'm actually waiting until Christmas season to get myself a uh, uh, used PS4. Because what I want to end up doing is the same thing. All the stuff that I'm playing now on Xbox, I want to be able to play that and more on PS4. Because like you, I have friends that I haven't gained with in a long time that went straight pony. And I'm pretty much both. So I, I'm, I'm going to actually get the... Uh, ps4 just so i can go back and forth and see my friend see your, fr your friend yeah hey, <laughs> travel back and get hey man i'm not even let me stop i'm not even gonna do that man i ain't gonna tell my age if i could sing that song all the way y'all y'all probably stop watching the <laughs> goddamn podcast all right so with that being said okay that's cool that's cool you know um Griggity. especially the mighty sure. joe woolly yeah mm. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe, it's funny. Fallout 76. I know Crickety's like, man, I quit. I quit this podcast. I'm tired of this shit. Stop talking about Fallout 76. No, but um, Joe, wasn't Mighty Joe the one that actually lives close to an yeah. artifact that's in Fallout 76? He sent a picture too, yep. Yeah, yeah. He sent it to our DM, and, and that's when uh, Griggity had threw up all over the screen. I, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, man, I had to clean that shit up too, man. <laughs> he had to use a double Ajax. He had to yeah. Ajax Ajax it. You know what I'm saying? The lights all white. Why they keep talking about that? Why can't they talk about Fallout 75? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Griggity, um, is there any other games that are on your radar? I mean, we're going to be talking about this Dark Siders 3, a whole bunch of other stuff, but anything in your back catalog or in your radar that you didn't have any had a chance to get into that you're looking to get into? Well, my back catalog, you know, I stopped playing Red Dead because I say, you know what, let me finish this Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Gotcha. And I finished it, and I'll tell you, man, Okay, it's a damn good game. Um, a lot of people kind of I don't know slept on it. Maybe it released at the wrong time, but yeah. it was a damn good game. So I finished that. Now I'm probably about to go back to uh, Red Dead Two. But me personally, I am looking forward to Just Cause Four. That game yeah. was pretty yeah. good to me. Yeah. It comes yeah. out next next Tuesday. Yeah, that game was pretty good to me. I enjoyed Just Cause Three, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. Man, right. um, the Just Cause series. It's one of the series that on PC is just phenomenal. So if you right. if you're a PC gamer and you get it on PC, the mods and the crazy shit that they do, it was actually little known fact. Um, before the phenomenon that you had with Grand Theft Auto Five, mm -hmm. um, there was a there was a a little mod for Just Cause Two that ran just like GTA five. So it was actually mm. GTA five before GTA five. So yeah, that just cause series is, is real big in, on the PC land. So if you're a PC gamer yeah. and you haven't checked it out, definitely pick it up and you can get it for dirt cheap on, um, on steam and shit. Like you can get, you can get all of the, all three games for like maybe $5 and shit. So they're yeah. definitely worth checking out. That's yeah, nice. Man. Cause I got the trilogy on my hard drive. So I'm glad y'all said, oh, okay, that. Uh, no. I'm gonna check it out. Definitely. Yeah, because on console it, it, it runs like dog shit. Right. The game, is pretty, you know, the game is still pretty good, you know. But uh yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm really looking forward to it. Yep, that's cool. Hey y'all, while I'm doing this, not and not y'all on the panel, but with the people out in the chat, appreciate all of y'all. Chat is getting busy, y'all getting down. Um, let me get here. So let me see here. Uh, Cali Rex says, MM2K, you need to try Warframe on, on the Switch, my bro. I was one of the first adapters of Warframe. Yep. And I, yeah, and TRS remembers that, like when it, when people were laughing at the game, like, what is what type of shit is this? I was one of the first adapters, and I loved Warframe, and I kind of just faded away from it. It was one of the games that I got, um, that I was hooked on last year when I first built my uh, monster PC. 
Um, and I really enjoyed it. And I really am impressed with the additions that they've made that I've seen. Um, I don't have a Wii yet uh, or a, a Switch. I'm sorry. I don't have a Switch yet. And I'm looking to get one. That's going to be my next big purchase after I get this goddamn Vita. You know what I mean? But no, I, I, I definitely love Warframe. Cali Rex is also, Con cannot believe you tried damage controller for ME3 ending. This is coming from a fan. The original ending was trash. It deserved to hate. Whoa! Oh, Cali, no! Hey, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to deal with you, bro. None of your business is MM2K. How you go hard on Xbox mediocre games, but you capping for Fallout 70 shits? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. No. They're going crazy. I got to get to some positivity. So my brother Thomas Franks in the chat says, MM2K was good, King. Thank you. Thank you, man. And the rest of the cast, bless Kings. Thank you. I need some of that positivity in my life. Thomas, they tried to kill me. All right. Uh... And that's it. Okay, so we we we're gonna talk about this, right? Let's pull the scab out. I, I'm I'm um Fallout 76. <laughs> okay, two beans in the bucket. Fuck it. I'm sorry, Dirk. Stick stick with us, Dirk, because Dirk, I'm gonna do this in a way that we're not gonna exclude you, okay? All right, we're gonna do this in a way we're not gonna exclude you. All oh, right, so no, here, no, you're good. Here, here's the real deal, holy field. Fallout 76. Um came out and it did not have the greatest reviews. Um, I dropped the video today because I don't care what people like. You know what I'm saying? If you try out a game and you play it and you don't like it, that doesn't bother me. See, I'm an older gamer. I'm not, and I'm not trying to say anything about younger gamers. I love you guys gaming. I, you know, we want to pass the baton, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and nurture y'all with the experience that we had, and, and, and y'all do y'all thing with it. You know what I'm saying? My problem is, is that I don't have a problem with people liking what I like. I don't care about that. What I have a problem with is people lying about certain products and services because they want everybody to agree with them. Like they feel they're that shallow inside that if everybody doesn't agree with their purchasing choices, they feel hollow and that causes some mental disturbed problem for them. And the fact that people to try to underline their dislike for fallout 76, they have to lie about it is a problem to me. Because I consider myself a consumer advocate. I'm one of those people to where if I'm in a Best Buy or, or GameStop, and you know how you have that clerk that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, they just want you to buy the product, I am that dude that's going to interrupt the conversation and inform the customer. Because I used to be that customer that did not have said information, and I was ignorant to what was going on, and I was told a whole bunch of shit, and when I brought said product home, I, I felt like a dumbass. So I consider myself a consumer advocate. All I want to do is put the truth out there and have it transparent and give you the information that you need in order to make a sound decision. If after having the information, you say, no, nah, MM2K, from everything that you're telling me, and if it's honest, I, I can't do that, that's fine. But at least you have the sound information. There are a lot of people that are on the fence about this game. A lot of people that I know personally would like this game. But because of the backlash that they've heard, <clears throat> they are not going to purchase the game. SP. They believe all the bullshit they've been told. And before I turn this over to TRS to, to, to add his two cents in it, um, I'm just going to say this. If I would have listened to everything that everybody said about Destiny, I would have never experienced that uh, Destiny. Now, I may be impartial to Destiny 2, but de the first Destiny was a grand experience. Fantastic game. And if I would have listened to all the flack, all the 50s and 60s and all the crazy shit they were saying about that game, this was like Halo 2. You know what I'm saying? Remember that they were saying that shit about Destiny? Yeah, if I would listen yeah. to that, I would have missed out on that experience. So I'm just, I just want people to be, to have, to, to, I want their, their buying options to be transparent and for them to recognize everything on the table. And unfortunately, a lot of these YouTubers and a lot of these um, content creators and a lot of these publications, they're lying to help suit their narrative. But go ahead, I'm turning it over to TRS. Go ahead. What are your thoughts on Fallout 76, bro? I, I didn't really uh, have much to say on it, but you did remind me, what you were saying reminded me uh, of SP, my, my younger brother, SP. Mm -hmm. And he was the main person when I told him 
him to come in on uh, Fallout. He was like, oh, man, I-, I heard the reviews, and the reviews said blah, blah, blah. And I, it's funny. I'm on a podcast, but I don't go by reviews. <laughs> if, it's, if, it, if, it's, if it's cheap and it looks good, I'm, I'm going to check it out. Thank you know you. what I mean? And if I like it, I like it. And, and I, I mean, I actually hear people arguing and fussing about it like it's uh, people arguing over two football teams. I'm like, mm-hmm. it, it, it's retarded. Yeah. And, and, and like you said, I've actually heard lies about yeah. it. You know, the frame rates like garbage and, and, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff. But as far as my experience with Fallout, I like it. Like I said before, it, it reminds me of an enhanced uh, Fallout 4. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no need for a bunch of NPCs. There's absolutely, once you play it, you'll see there's no need for the NPCs. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I'm loving it. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't want too many in there because I got enough robots and, and, and scripts on computers and stuff telling me everything I need to know. Thank but you. there's constant action taking place. So it's like, you don't need to stop and talk to Old Man River. You don't know, <laughs> to get the you know, secret code or, or Marla about finding her child or, or something like you don't You don't have to do that. It's fun on its own, especially, and it's got events like uh, <laughs> Destiny. Yes. And, and, and that's, and they're very rewarding. Have you that's... found a new Cola factory yet? No, not yet. I'm, I'm, I'm in I'm there good. now. Ooh. Bruh. See, this is this is the problem that I have, okay? And I said this in my video, and this isn't damage control. See, this is what gamers got to understand. And here's why I made that video. I, again, I didn't make that video to try to convince y'all to like something that I like. But too often, and we were talking about this, Griggity, before the show. Now, I'm going to see, see how I'm rolling your ass in here. Hey, we were talking you. about this before the show. And, Griggity, you're not a fan of Fallout 76, and you just are not going to pick it up. And, and that's fine. But the thing that bothers me, what we were talking about before the show, is this mentality that I can't do my own due diligence. I have to see what's popular, and I have to run with the herd. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying is that don't have that reflexive mentality because you're going to miss out on opportunities that are fine for you. And if everybody else doesn't like it, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? But what are your... What are your thoughts on that or this whole overall thing, if you have any? Yes. Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> my thought, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta no. go. <laughs> <laughs> no, my thoughts is this, man. We were talking about it, like you said, before the podcast started, where people don't have their own mind, right? Yeah. I don't want to get the game because I'm not interested in Fallout. I. Mm. don't like the series i don't like fallout so i know i don't want to even really try it because i'm not interested but you never heard me actually bashing because i haven't played it right Mm -hmm. the narrative is this game sucks Mm -hmm. (laughs) some people that haven't played it this game sucks Mm -hmm. earlier in the generation xbox sucks Mm -hmm. yeah but xbox sucks yes it does nobody has their own minds anymore yeah exactly you know so just like you see some movie reviews, people said Justice League sucked. I actually liked it, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's like, we all have our opinions. Everybody uh, 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 wants you to feel how they feel. Exactly. And some some idiots, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Just because you like their YouTube channel or just because you like their Twitter feed. Yeah, I agree with you. Play the damn game. Yeah, just play it. It's okay. Just play it. It's okay. It's, it's all right, man. You, you know. might like it, you might not. Yeah, and if you like it, you, your skin won't boil off. I, I just right. want to say this. Fast. Um, yeah, fast. It won't boil it off won't fast. Boil off fast. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say this. Um, again, part of my problem is, is that 90% of the people that I deal with that fight me about this game have not touched the game. That's what I find the right. most boggling, mind-boggling. Right. That's like having a conversation. That's like if I walk up to, to, to Griggity, and I'm like, Griggity. You know, you like the Matrix, huh? And he's like, yeah. And I'd be like, man, Keanu Reeves is corny as fuck in that movie, man. You know what I'm saying? Such and such and this and that. And then me and him are going back and forth about it. And then I'm like, yeah. And Keanu Reeves, the way he dies and he never comes back to life. And Greg, and he's like, hold on, what? And I'm sorry if this is a spoiler. If you haven't seen the Matrix, too fucking bad. And Greg, and he's like, hold on, what? what? Huh? Keanu Reeves dies and never comes back? Motherfucker, don't you know there's a Matrix 2 and 3? What are you talking about? Right. Have you seen the movie? Well, no. I don't need to see the movie in order to know that the right. movie... I mean, come... 
I would get I would get laughed off the stage. I would get hit with cheers bottle. What was a cannabis the rapper said he got hit with the <laughs> beer, the beers and bottles and, and his own CD too? I get hit with everything under the sun. <laughs> I don't understand how in gaming y'all motherfuckers don't even try this shit, but y'all become experts. Y'all are like uh yeah. what's his name? Uh 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 Steve Berman on on, on ESPN, but y'all don't even watch a game of football. <laughs> you and you know what it is? And you know what it is? I'm sorry to cut you off. You know what no, it is? He good, he good. People listen to other people's opinion, and that's their opinion. Like, yes. you ever talk to a dude that don't know shit, like, like you said, like, don't know shit about sports, and he happens to listen to a sports talk show, and all of a sudden, he know everything? Yeah, yes. yeah, man. This exactly. Need to no, you full of shit. You don't really have your own opinion. Yeah, it's all <laughs> It's all out 75. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's, it's boogie. So- so that that's the part that kills me is that first of all, you the ninety percent of the people that are arguing with me, some of y'all are in the chat. I, I love y'all, but some of y'all have not touched the game, and y'all are fought, running with that herd. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. How the fuck do you know? You don't know. You 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 educated guesses are not okay here. Okay. Secondly. Now, if it does, if the if it doesn't interest you, that's one thing. But everything that doesn't interest you doesn't have to equate to it. Just sucks generally. Second thing, for those that have experienced the game, and I have not talked to TRS about him not him liking the game opposed to the public. We just play the game. TRS said exactly what I said in my video, and which was, we don't even need no goddamn NPCs here. People try to make it seem like the vast majority of interaction in Fallout is the NPCs. When you actually deal with the NPCs, when you're either in a major town or you're in a side story, the vast majority of the build of the game is you journeying the wasteland, finding weapons, finding parts, scavenging shit. That's the that's the vast majority of the game. Uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 what do you call this? Fuck? Uh, Fallout was never applauded. Todd <laughs> Howard never received awards for the vast dialogue tree. No one ever said Fallout. We love this game because of the vast. Di-. They said no. You journey the wasteland. So that right there is a farce. Secondly, like I said, if you did, if, if for your own personal experience, if the dialogue tree being opposite out of there means that you don't like the game, then guess what? Like I say in my video, you're equivalent to someone that goes to the Golden Corral buffet, which is a food place for those that don't live in the States, that goes to Golden Corral just for the garlic wings. If Golden Corral says we're not selling garlic wings today and you turn around and leave, then you're not a fan of Golden Corral. You're just a fan of their garlic wings. So if you're a fan of the uh, NPC interaction so much that you don't want to play the game when it's the the least developed part of the game, then you're not a fan of Fallout. You're a fan of games that have (laughs) the dialogue tree, period. So you don't have the right to say, I'm a full-fledged Fallout fan. That's a lie. Like, for instance, I have purchased every single um, Uncharted game that was out on console, right? Mm -hmm. I even bought them. I even bought the console with it. I bought the PlayStation 3 three times for Uncharted 1, 2, and 3. I bought the PlayStation 4 this generation for Uncharted. Didn't have one until Uncharted 4 came out. So you, under that reasoning, I can't just say I'm a Uncharted fan because I really am not the biggest fan of the game. I think the series is okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of four, but just because I bought them on release, but there was a potential of the of the Uncharted series that I was looking forward to in the game that just never re- never went as high as my expectations. But just because I went to act and, and purchase all of the games doesn't automatically make me a fan. Because I'm going to be upfront and honest and transparent with you. I'm not the biggest fan of the game. So I'm not going to sit there and lie to you just for the sake of winning an argument. So the same applies here. If you only like the dialogue tree, which is one of the least developed parts of the game, then you're not a series. You're not a fan of the series. You're just a fan of that element. So stop lying there. And then lastly, um, when people say there's nothing to do, I got two two-hour streams showing you that that's not the case. One with TRS when we're like hooting and hollering and screaming and shit like that. And then another one that I did without TRS when I'm playing by myself where people say playing by yourself is dumb. 
But I played by myself, and I even had people that said the game was garbage, but they were like, yo, this stream is dope. You know, this stream, come on. You know, like, what's it going to be? And that's all I got. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I got one more video that I'm going to do because I am going to address some things that I think Bethesda needs to do better on the PC side, and then I'm just going to enjoy this game and have my fun. But my overall message to you, the community, it's be your own person. You don't have to follow this mob mentality like this is the 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 remake of the Warriors or some shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be an individual. This, this is what drives me crazy. Maybe it's because I'm just an old geezer gamer, and where I come from, I'm a product of the 80s, baby. We had diversity of thought. Mm. but And maybe this is just a new thing. I don't know. But I'm going to shut it up and turn it to my panel. What is y'all thoughts on this? <laughs> Look, man. <laughs> they say that playing 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 by yourself is uh, uh, is stupid, huh? Look, I've been doing that since I discovered it at sixteen. It ain't gonna stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if that doesn't sound right, it's because it's not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I tell you that we don't stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me yeah, go to uh, I'm sorry. Go, go, no, go ahead, Greg. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. At the end of the day, listen to this man, MM2K. Have your own mind. Have your own thoughts. If you want to try the game, just try it. If you have no interest at all, like myself, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but don't have an opinion on something you never played. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let me go to the chat. Um, my homie, the Bang House. I love I do the Bang House be bringing it. You know what I'm saying? I always bring his diversity of thought. The Bang House says, MM2K, it's simple. Bethesda is vastly overrated. Their games are almost always buggy. Technical messes. We got to stop giving them passes for lazy development. They rely on mods to fix Damn. their problems. Damn. Damn, I feel that way about Rockstar, but I can't say that to nobody who's a fan. <laughs> Now you need to cross the damn line, not TR. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout 75. <laughs> That's the sound of the police. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm going to say this, Bang House, but TRS already just pulled it out. You know what? Like I told y'all, I bought every single Uncharted game. Are they storytelling Matt Wizards? Yes. It's very heart, uh, you know, it's very heartwarming to see Nathan Drake sit with his wife and they eat oatmeal as they play Crash Bandicoot. It warms my heart. <laughs> but with that being said, this motherfucker's supposed to be Indiana Jones. And the action in the game is doo-doo chunks. So even though, if you feel like Bethesda's giving a pass for their bugs, I feel like that Naughty Dog is giving a pass for their shit action sequences. With oh. that being said, Ooh, I, get people, uh-oh. I get that people still like the Naughty Dog games. They, they uh, revel over them even though they have shit se- uh, um, action sequences where the AI will run right be- right in front of you, go behind cover while looking backwards with his neck turned all the way around like the fucking exorcist and then pop out of cover again. I got plenty of, again, plenty of footage with that shit happening. But These it's all about the just point thoughts of, making- of MM2K, not the whole panel. <laughs> 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 the point I'm trying to make, Bang House, with all due respect, is that no game is perfect, okay? There's ups and downs with every single title. There's some things that some games are better in than other games. Yes, is are the Uncharted and the, the games that you guys like with the explosions and the pop and all the aesthetic whoop to do's are they better at that running smoothly than a Bethesda game? Yes. But as far as the action sequences, the technical prowess, the challenging your gamer IQ, the journey, just the, the different takes and the, the risks that they're willing to take to bring you something new. Are the Bethesda games better at that? Yes. So there, there it is. Every game has its pros. Every game has its cons. It's all about individual preferences. And I should not force my preferences on you. And you, uh, in return, should not tell me that I shouldn't like what I like about Bethesda games. Therefore, I must pick at them and kick Todd Howard in the back of his curly head. That, that It doesn't make sense to me. I would not have you do that with Naughty Dog and their shitty-ass action sequences. So let me be chill with me and my Bethesda games, even if they are a little buggy at, the be- at, at release. Any thoughts on that from the panel? I'm a fan of both. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of both of them, but I can gripe both of them equally. 
yeah. I've got my flaws with Bethesda. I, I've got my flaws with Naughty Dog. I mean, I, I can I can gripe both, so it's not like I can't just pick a side with that. Mm-hmm. They, they both have stuff where I can be like, you know what, fuck it, and, and throw the joystick joystick up against the wall. Joystick. You know what I mean? Yeah, remember that? That old, old dog? He's a joystick. Old dog. <laughs> yeah, we're a control pad. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man, you, um, yeah, like y'all say, I mean, listen, man, y'all are right by everything y'all saying tonight. Um, no game is perfect. Mm. Me, I'm a Bethesda fan, but I'm not really a fan of their biggest franchises. Just that's just me. Mm-hmm. I'm not a I'm not a Fallout fan. I'm not a Elder Scroll fan. That's just me. Yeah. Um, but I like some of the other games, but no game is perfect. Now, on the other hand, I'm a big Naughty Dog fan. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you know, I disagree with some of the things that you said, but you know, we all have our own opinions, and I have my own opinion like you have yours. And that's what we're really talking about here. People having their own valid opinions. The only difference the is, make your opinion, huh? The only difference is my opinion is right. Okay, so next thing. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but see, he but Quickity can feel that way. I can feel my way. And Banghouse, you can feel your way about what you like, and that's fine. And, and Banghouse followed up with said, How did the carver switch to Naughty Dog? Because I had to give you a comparison, my brother. See, the problem is, is that too many people or in a silo. They have their 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 individual beliefs about a game uh, or a series, and then they want the whole world to join them. Like, you may think that but the bugs that are in the Bethesda game are a problem. To me, they're not a problem because the game still runs good enough to me. There's a lot of exploring, a lot of things I like to do in those games. Just like how, even though I think it's unacceptable for the writing talent at, at Naughty Dog, for them to be able to write these the, these heartwarming narratives, but for their gunplay to be so fucked up, you may not feel that way. You may say, okay, well, the gunplay, may, the camera angle may not be the smooth, the reaction may not be the best, the AI might not be the best, but that doesn't matter. Um, what, what what overcomes that is the storytelling and the presentation of the game, and and and, and I can respect that and say fine. So I just want I just want us as as a community to respect the diversity of thought out there because when TRS. Griggity and I grew up. We did that. We, we we never went to the tabletop gamers and said, y'all suck, and kicked over their, their Dungeons and Dragons pieces and shit like that. Right. We never went to the fighter gamers and said, this shit is corny. It's only kicking each other in the, behind a, a stage. We, we never right. did that. You know, I, I just don't I just don't get where this mind state comes from, but it's a new school thing, and, and, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? Um, but any other thoughts before we moved on? Do you know how difficult it was being a Sega Master System fan <laughs> <laughs> oh, I when Nintendo see. was out? Bruh, I, I yeah. get shit all the time, but I didn't say, you know what, well, y'all right, you know what I mean, man, like, it's all about Nintendo. I was a Sega guy, and that was my opinion, and that's how I felt, and y'all were gonna change my mind. If you uh, play the game, you like it, you don't like it, that's your opinion, that's how you feel. Don't let your favorite YouTuber, your favorite tweeter, Twitter, person change your mind about this shit yeah you know what i'm saying just i'm, I'm using sorry. that to tweeter twitter <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> whoever but, this twitter twitter dude is just <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn mind, man i mean seriously man the losses he done lost his goddamn really, school you know what you know I, i'm sorry but i'm really like noticing this in this community man mm-hmm. everybody want to jump on a bandwagon with somebody else's opinion right. angry joe said this oh yeah yeah angry joe's right yeah, yeah. who give me did I'm y'all sorry, come no. out of his nutsacks? Like, right. And that's another thing, too. And I, look, and I'm not trying to drop names to be mean or anything like that. I love some of the editorial stuff that these people do. But I mean, not the editorial so much, but the, the, the research that they do. Like my man, Yong Yeah, I, I finally said his name right. I did that video, Griggity, on him versus Jason Schreier, where right. I find myself, you know, like, okay, I understand where Jason's coming from. But in that interview, Jason just looked like a, a complete dick. In that interview, you know, and I and I had said something on Twitter like, you gotta you gotta be careful of your perception. But Young is another example. He just released a video. We're gonna talk about it to where he's leading his he lead, he's leading his flock astray. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. again, I can't point the finger at Young because he doesn't have a gun pointed to y'all head. Y'all gotta have diversity of thought to say, okay, I agree with you, Young, on this, this, and this. But that, bro, you on some other shit, right? You know, what yep. I'm saying? and you don't yes. see that. It's it's mind boggling. I don't know. Whatever's the popular thing to do. That's oh yeah yeah. That's how I feel too. No, exactly. you couldn't say that you thought Spider Man was okay. Oh what what? Yeah. 
man, get yeah. the fuck out of here. Y'all, y'all, y'all too cookie cutter, man. Y'all settle too much. Y'all too cookie cutter, and y'all feel, and with all this technology and all this different shit that's supposed to be out here, y'all se- y'all settle for the fray too much, and y'all make it easy. Y'all supposed to be fighting against the establishment. Y'all make it easy for the establishment to run some data on y'all and figure out what, what's going to work with y'all because y'all so goddamn cookie cutter and assembly belt. It's ridiculous, but no, we can go on and on about this. We got a lot of topics to cover, so with that being said, interesting topic. I just wanted to, you know, cover why I did that video. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, hopefully everybody will have their own state of mind. But next thing. All right. Holiday games, including Fallout 76, seem to be a bust sales-wise. You know what I'm saying? Or attention-wise. Um, even though I like the game, you know, Bethesda, well, I got to keep them jiggy. You know, Bethesda had to drop the price because they were getting a lot of backlash. Then we have the same thing with Battlefield 5. I mean, let's talk about that a little bit. Why do we think Battlefield 5 now is getting attacked? Because it's not getting the same reception that Fallout 76 is getting, but I don't want to say it, it's not getting attacked, but it's not, nope, they're not picking it up. Um, and they had to drop, they had to drop that price, at least their target to $30. Yeah. So, um, I, I tell you, Ressa, I know you haven't got a chance to, to get a hold of Battlefield 5 by Griggity. Yeah. I mean, what, what is your experience with Battlefield 5, and, and why do you think that that's the case with this game? Well, first off, I do think that um, being in World War II, uh, I don't think people really wanted that again. Even though the first one, I mean, well, the last one was World War I, uh, this one, I, it's a little bit too similar to the last one. Now, me personally, oh, shit, he, he, ain't, he ain't got him. They got him. Man, why that shit always be? Oh, it's, it's, it's tripping again. Yeah, man, why are you know what? The best moments of the show, <laughs> right? The best moments of the show is when Space Ghost snags Griggity, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> what the fuck happened? Now, the sometimes like, it would just like stop for like five seconds and then bring me back. I don't know why this shit does some window shit. It's Windows, bro. bro. It's window. Windows. Fuck, man. I swear. Yeah. Windows. I'm sorry, but where was I at? You were talking about um uh you were talking about the game. You were talking about Fallout 5. I'm pretty sure I wasn't talking about that. Uh, I mean not Fallout (laughs) Fallout 5. I I I tried. tried. (laughs) Damn it, I tried, Griggity. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't talking about that. No, I I think it's similar to Battlefield One. I really do. I think that's what I heard. If you're a Battlefield fan, it's a good game. But there's a few reasons why I think it's that people don't care. Okay. Uh, one is um, Black Ops Four. Okay, yeah. <laughs> two is yeah. Red Dead Two. Yeah. Three is it's not finished. The campaign is absolutely terrible. I didn't oh. finish the campaign, but I played enough of it. Uh, they say it's three hours long. Ooh, it's it's missing some stuff. It's missing a, uh, another chapter that they're gonna add later. Oh. Their uh, battle royale mode is coming later. Yeah. So it was like. What, what? No, no, this isn't the answer. Yeah. The game is not all the way friendly. I mean, it's a quality game. Don't get me wrong, man. The graphics are great. The sound is always great in those Battlefield games, but I still think people are still rocking a lot with the, with the um, Black Ops 4, man, and the Red Dead, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like to me, Greg, and then I'm going to turn it over to TRS, but it sounds like to me that, um, you know, maybe Call of Duty was right. And not adding, just coming flat out and saying we're not going to add the campaign. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that this happened. It's just be the first time that this concept has um, been heavily forced on a console. But you know, you had the Unreal Tournament games on PC. You know, to right, where right. They're, they're just multiplayer. And 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 it sounds like that EA bit off more than it could chew, giving you a three-hour fucking campaign. Well, why even try? I mean, yeah, you right, can beat right. that in one sitting, and then well, a lot of people. Again, this is this is the era of save the mo- save the single player, right? So why would I pay sixty dollars for a single player experience that I can beat in one sitting when you still have gamers that really don't do multiplayer? You know what I'm saying? What are your thoughts on that, TRS? I was actually told uh, I, he's the first person I've ever heard give like a kind of negative outlook on that game. I, I heard a bunch of ass kissing before I heard him actually say it. Uh, I was told that the concept went back to the original 
Uh-huh. And I was whole, I was told that because of that, that's what made it better. Because a lot of people didn't like how the sequels veered off of that. Mm-hmm. And this went back to the original. And now it's like the greatest shit in the world. It's like the original 2.0. And, and, and yeah, it, it's the best thing in the world, compute units. And, and I, just, <laughs> I, just kept, I just kept hearing that. You're the first person I heard that has had any, like, gripes about it. So that was very uh, interesting. I mean, I don't really have gripes. Gripes, I think it's a quality game. Right. It's just I just feel that uh it wasn't all the way finished. You know, okay. it was lacking a lot of content that Battlefield used to have. You okay. Know what oh, and what you're doing right now is pretty much how I see, you know, Fallout 76. I, that's how I see it. it. I you know, and not necessarily gripes, but I see what what could be coming in the future, what needs to be here now. You know, I I can see that kind of stuff. So I, I know what you mean when you, when you say that, but I, you're the first person that told me any kind of uh, indifference about the options and things on that. So that that's good. But uh, be, me not being a big fan of that, I I'm you're still not, not going to browbeat it. Be I'm still not going to browbeat it. If I see it free, I'll grab it. Right. <laughs> you know, something like that. I'll still check it out, and I may I may end up loving it. But I'm I'm into more you know space age stuff. Uh, when I when I fight, I want to fight stuff that looks like there's no way in hell I could beat it. I, yeah, I like okay. stuff like that. Not not another human. I, just choke <laughs> I know I, that that's the sci-fi kick that I have too. Um, and but I will say this: that I am an original. I, I, I'm look. I'm not the cookie cutter gamer. I don't. I, I, I've never liked the Modern Warfare series. I haven't been a fan of Call of Duty since Call of Duty 2, the original Call of Duty 2. I love the old World War One, World War II style because it, it, it forced you to be a little bit more tactical, but the games moved at a slower pace. And now it's just run here, run behind this rocket, all this squirrel running and shit like that. I can't, and you're running around 30 miles per hour and five feet of space. I can't get into that shit. With that being said, um, I think the charm that, the World War One and World War Two games had back in the day, about 10, 15 years ago, they're gone and they don't fit with the new style of gaming. So I get where Grigity's coming from, where it's like they're trying to utilize the nostalgia of that era, but they're doing it with the new game style and it just doesn't mesh well together. It's like water, it's like oil and water. So I think what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to abandon this World War II. They might have to do a Far Cry 5. What are the thoughts on that? Well, Far Cry 5 has this Mars mode. It's like came out of nowhere with this Mars <laughs> DLC. You know what I'm saying? Where you're on Mars and shit like that. I think you get sucked up by an alien ship. And put you- yeah. so they might have to drop I'm, a, a I'm DLC. Not, where it's not, not space stuff for Battlefield. No, no, no not space yeah, stuff, but, yeah. but, but, but more modern. Like, you know, oh, yeah, definitely DLC. more modern. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, wasn't that the issue? Of. I didn't really play Battle for One all like that, but wasn't that the issue, Griggity? The lack of guns because you know they were so dated. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. The World War One guns, you had like six guns and shit. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they got to make it more recent. Like, like Battlefield Four. I believe people still play Battlefield Four to this day. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it might, just make it more modern. You know, that's what's up. Um, and then lastly, Dark Siders Three. You know, that, that was looking real promising, but it doesn't look like that it's getting real good reviews and stuff like that. Like, it, it's tanking uh, Metacritic. Let me let me check right now. See, my see, Fallout 73 ain't the only one. No. <laughs> that, see, but this game excuse. is a perfect example of having your own mind because I'm going to get this game. Yeah, re- yeah me too. Regardless of what people say, because I like the first two, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm going to get it. And it's timing, man. Like, who who's the developer's of this game. Yeah, Somebody come, should be slapped gun, in the mouth. Gunfire games, but there were some uh they were like uh I think they helped make the first two. There were some okay. people from the first two yeah. that came here when they changed their name to Gunfire Games. But yeah, that's a I don't know, like Dog Star was in order. Yeah. But it's not that big of a series to release in holiday season, I think. Nah. Yeah, THQ Nordic, they're piss poor publishers. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh they are some of the they do some of the worst timing like they have pretty decent games but they're like they're more like double a games or double a and a half games and they put them up against these triple a games and it doesn't work and i think 
I mean, I'm not making excuses. I think that's another thing that 76 came up with. You got all these like super polished games, no bugs, Red Dead Redemption with all this detail and, and fidelity and all this other shit. And, it, and it's smooth for the most part. I mean, there's some quirky bugs there and there, but nothing that's typical of the Fallout games. And I, that didn't, and then people, when they hear online, they expect this cookie cutter thing and it wasn't what people expected. Like these publishers, in my mind, they have to do better at better pace in these games. I would not put out any game during the holiday season unless A, I had a cult following that I knew their attention wouldn't be diverted elsewhere. You right. know, like it was a cult type of game. Like people that play Fallout 76, they are also fans of Red Dead Redemption. There's a crossover there. So I would have never, even if the game was polished, I would have never released a Fallout 76 game with Red Dead Redemption. And I would have not, never had it in the same month. That's just suicide right there. Um, I would so again, unless to make sure there's no crossover. If there is crossover, you got the summer, you got all this other time. I mean, what are you guys' thoughts on that? It, it, are these games tanking because of the timing that they, they came out at a bad time, or is it something different? I agree a lot with the uh I could be wrong. I agree a lot with the tanking because of the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, because personally, like I want both. I want uh, Fallout 76 and Red Dead. I'm getting that next. Okay. So, but I can understand how a lot of games could be not looked at because of what's coming out. A lot of games were ignored when Skyrim first came out. Mm-hmm. So I, I and and I'm just starting to play them now, and I'm like, damn, I should have been played this, you know. So so I'm, I think that's one of the major factors, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree, man. Because if you look at it. Most games that release after Thanksgiving usually don't do too well. Mm-hmm. I can't think of one that did <coughs> in recent memory, excuse me. Because I mean, at that point, people are probably done spending money. Right. Um, and like you said, these games aren't big enough to hold their own in the, in like the holiday season, like a Call of Duty or 2K would, you know, they don't have the fan base like that. I mean, right. Battlefield got a fan base, but I don't know. I mean, it's pretty obvious something isn't, isn't right this year with this game, man. And uh, people just don't care for whatever reason. I think if it was a March or something earlier in the year, people maybe people would, oh, yeah, let me get this Battlefield. Not right after Call of Duty. Yeah. You know, Not after Call of, of Duty and Red Dead Redemption. Right, and Red Dead, yeah. I mean, that's just suicide. And then, and I, and, I, and again, I, we're not going to, I really don't, I'm, I'm really fatigued about talking Fallout 76. I really just want to play it. Um, <laughs> but I will say this, that I will talk about that too in my part two of my video where I express some things I think Bethesda needed to redo. And I just, even if the game was polished, I still think that it was stupid because it's going to get, the gamers are going to compare stuff. I don't blame gamers for doing that. They're going to compare stuff and, it would have been compared the the, the unit the, the uniformed appeal would have been compared to a, the likes of a Red Dead or even an Assassin's Creed Odyssey, right? Right, right. Yeah. Like it, it, the, the 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 universal and commercial appeal was going to be compared, and it it would have been in a bad way anyway. But with that said, let's move on to the meat and potatoes here, because I want to talk about. 2019 and Sony. Oh, shit. Like, what the is going on here? First, Sony is not showing... They didn't do a, a PSX in 2018. They're, they didn't do... They skipped the Paris Game Show as well in 2018. Those are two big things, fan favorite things that they're known to do. Um, And they announced they're not coming to E3. Spider-Man, after that game, the games, the exclusive games that they've been touting it on the low, who <laughs> trying to tell you about, was Burly Men and C, Dream Daddy, <laughs> and The Quiet Man. And then there's that little horse game and shit. Um, that, that showstopper, big up to showstopper, he's always putting out there. The only two confirmed games for 2019 are Dream which is like, what, an indie-looking game or a double-A game or some shit like that? Yeah. And uh, what's the other game, the, the zombie game? Days Gone. Days Gone, which you don't hear a lot You don't hear a lot of talk about that. You may hear, hear fanboy banter, but you don't hear a lot of confidence behind that game. Yeah. 
So with all that being said, and then you got Microsoft that's going to have this E3 stage to itself, meaning that all of the big time AAA games. See, let, let me back up a little bit. Previously, what Sony was able to do was wisely buy AAA exclusive rights as far as marketing is concerned and not even show those games on stage because they didn't want the Xbox One X counterpart to be shown that perform much better. So they would just buy the marketing rights, shelve them until release time, and then just drop a whole bunch of commercials, right? Very wise of Sony. But now that Sony's not even showing up to E3, you know, are there potential marketing rights that could benefit Microsoft? And what if all that shit is shown on the E3 stage at Microsoft with all these explosions and all this other shit and the power of the X and all this other stuff? I mean, because Mike, Sony's already set the narrative, guys. They done blew their load pretty much. They told you we have nothing else to show you. So it's all, it's all about the multiplats now. It's going to be okay that it's about the multiplats now all of a sudden because Sony said so. But because Sony is being AWOL, they have set that narrative. It's going to be okay that you focus on the multiplats because we really ain't got shit coming out for 2019. So if all these multiplat games are being synonymous with Microsoft, is that really going to benefit, benefit Microsoft? Did Sony do the smart thing on abandoning E3? And lastly, or more importantly, let's answer this question first. Why do we think that Sony abandoned all of these shows, starting in, in the PSX and the Pierce Game Show and now E3? What are your thoughts on that, Griggity? Why do you think they abandoned all this shit? I think it's pretty obvious. <clears throat> they are... Getting ready for the PS5, right? We can all yep. sit here and say they're getting <laughs> prepared for the PS5. Um, I, I believe some of those games that they showed too early, you know, because they blew their load, they showed those games all in 2016, with the exception of Ghost of Tsushima, which was last year at Paris Games Week. They show all of those games in 2016. Way too early. Uh, but I do believe they're like, look, man, we listen, we gotta have some type of games with the launch of this damn PlayStation 5. Yep. Let's go ahead and have some of these games be PS5 games as well as PS4 games. I just believe they just said, let's just shut it down right now. Let's get ready for this PS5. Let's not worry about these conferences. We ain't got shit to show anyway. And let's just do the thing. I don't know if they're going to have a PSX next year. Everybody is assuming that they are. But what if they don't? I don't know, man. Um, but they haven't had a conference in, I mean, this year E3 was, come on. Yeah. That yeah. was like some weird shit. That was weird. Four games. <laughs> so they really haven't, you know what I'm saying? They really haven't done anything for a minute. I mean, because yeah. PSX last year was terrible. So I don't know, man. Yep. Good point. What do you what, what do you think, TRS? Do you I, agree with the Griggity? I, I completely agree. I, I completely agree because when I first realized how how small the uh, selections were going to be at that time, mm -hmm. I'm not a big corporate knowledge type guy, but I do have suspect common sense. And, and I'm sitting there like, first of all, Sony's not the type of company that's just going to disappear off the face of the earth or just stop. Something's mm -hmm. going on. Their their whole Absolutely. goal, it seems, is to keep getting my eye if I if I'm like the generic puppet gamer sorry if i if i'm that kind of a person you're going to keep pleasing me and keep pleasing me and please me with your advertisements and everything like that so something's afoot and i'm thinking to myself what what could this be are they are they waiting for a, a whole handful of stuff to come out all at once or they wait and then i realized that the ps5 was in the rumor bin and i was like okay that's it that's it right there they're, they're going to have a nice onslaught roster for the ps5 and that's the first thing i started thinking so you know yeah. but to be fair though you know they this is their fifth console and they never missed the e3 before this though so, exactly you know but it man. seems like it's because most of their stuff that you know they're famous for most of it's already come out and that's how it yeah. seems like to me so that that's how i was feeling about it everything's come out already there's not a lot of stuff, a lot of contracts to make right now for some awesome sequels or anything like that. So what is it? What is the quietness? And then when I realized another console was in the rumor, you know, pool, I was like, that's gonna be it. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna explode like 
some Nintendo system shit back in the days. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, man. You know, uh, like next year's gonna be fun because we don't know what they're gonna do. Um, you know, eight eight three is not gonna be the same without them. To be honest with you, it's, they kind of remind me of like if you're in, like, say you're in high school and you're sitting in the office with the principal and next to you because you and the school bully got in trouble and the school bully's not beating up on you right now, but you're looking at him and he's quiet and he's just staring at you. <laughs> like, I know what you're capable of, but right now you're quiet. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Some, something's yeah. coming. I, I'm, I do not doubt PlayStation for one minute on this. Oh, yeah. I don't doubt him either, you know. I do think they blew their load, though. But I don't doubt them. I mean, they're not going anywhere. I know it's Xbox guys are kind of like, yeah, what's going on, ponies? Nah, 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 man. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're going to be just fine. But E3 is a big deal, though, man. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. For them to miss it, they really must not have a damn thing. Yeah. Do you guys think that there's an ego factor? Like, I mean, we've done mm-hmm. so damn great right now. Fuck that. I don't think so. Yeah, Let's I don't explode think so. next E3 or something. Um, I don't think so. Me, personally, I don't. I don't think they're getting cocky again. If that's the question, like yeah, 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 I, I don't think they're getting cocky again. If we ain't got like, much. Fuck them. We're gonna explode on the next one. Double time. Uh, I mean, I got a different take. I I kind of agree with TRS as they're while they're doing it. I, I and here's why I say that. Um, I, you know. I pay attention to the business side of it and I've been paying attention to Sean Layton and how he's doing things. And Sean Layton is on a different, he's taken, um, you know, the whole PlayStation thing on a different track than what, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Phil, Phil Spencer is doing like Phil Spencer is trying to be the Kumbaya King, you know, where, you know, gamers are unified and I don't want to leave any. And, uh, uh, Sean Layton reminds me of the new type of CEO that's the flavor of the month now, the shake things up CEO. I mean, I have one at my company that I work with now. They're doing some crazy shit. And I think that's symptomatic of why we got that crazy E3 last year from Sony that's sitting in the church and all this other stuff. I mean, it was funny. I was looking to IGN, which is the biggest group of Sony wood buffers on this side of the Northeast Atlantic. <laughs> and they even, <laughs> they wood even admit it. They said, yo, that shit from Sony last year was horrible. You know what I'm saying? And they said they sacrificed the listening, the viewing public, the millions of viewing public because they had nothing to show and they were trying to make it look as substantive as possible. And we actually missed announcements because of it. So I think Sean Layton was trying to shake things up. Well, here, what happened is we got in order to understand where we're at, where you're at now, you got to look at your history. When PlayStation and Xbox first came to fruition, whether you want to believe it or not, we had Randolph Thorne on the show, and he told everybody that PlayStation was supposed to do the DRM practice with Xbox. Xbox was not going at this alone. Right. PlayStation was at Sony was in, a, in dire strength. I mean, they had they had a more powerful box, so they could market that, but they was like, that's not enough. We need to do some... We're pulling back on this DRM thing. They saw how Microsoft was bungling the message with this and they said we're gonna do we're gonna go for broke we're going all in we're going all in and let's take this camera out too yep and 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 it worked for them it worked for them so so much that whole thing with 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 yoshida and and andrew house i mean no not andrew house um adam boys where they said this is how you trade your your games on playstation killer man Killer. killer killer that was the that was the one hitter quitter bruh the one I yeah. remember after they did that, I saw I don't know who that was. I think it's somebody that's known in the community. I saw this this young retort. Uh, uh, no, let me let me use better. Like, <laughs> this young stupid motherfucker, distinguished gen- gentleman. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You know I got to be a distinguished gentleman. He got up in the crowd with a championship belt, like he was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yay! So he won the console war because of some skit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, what they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. And they did. Yeah. And I don't know why that annoyed me. Like, what are we winning? We didn't really see anything innovative. It's just that one piece of plastic was less shittier than the other piece of plastic, but whatever, here or there. So, with that being said, um, so they've been able to do that. They they went they went for broke and it worked out for them tremendously. So 
they get rid of Jack Tritton. They're like, Jack Tritton, you're, you're making us share too much water. We're giving gamers all this shit. They bring in Sean Layton, and Sean Layton continues to ride the marketing wave. He's a marketing genius, right? And then he goes back to the Japanese companies that they abandoned at first because they were marketing these indie games. He goes back to the Japanese companies and said, okay, I know we abandoned you and you all are porting your games to, to the cell phones, but come on back. Come on back. We want to put y'all games now on the PlayStation 4. And that's why most of these JRPGs that you've seen on PlayStation at first in the earlier part of the generation, they were real shallow because they were built for cell phones. Um, they're starting to get better now. Like I got that new new, new Cooney too. They're starting to perform better now because they started developing them again for the console. But that's what Sean Layton did. And I think he was trying to shake things up a little bit because I think it was his decision to start showing shit super early. Right. They may have said, this is all we got to show. And Sean Layton probably said, let's go for broke again. And, and me and Griggity was talking about this before the show. It's like, imagine a car show. Now, normally at a car show, if it's 2018, they'll show you the 2019 model, right? And so forth right. and so forth. They normally don't go a year beyond that, right? right? So imagine at the car show for 2016, they show you the 2020 car. They're really showing you all the 2020 cars. And you're like, holy shit! In four years, cars are going to look like that! Oh! And you're going crazy. In 2017, they show you the 2020 cars again. You're like, oh, yeah! Now we get to sit in the car! Oh! 2018, they show you the 2020 car, and you're like, yay, okay, all right. And in 2019, they show you the 2020 <laughs> car again. You're like, all right, come on. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> You can care less. Like, when is shit coming out? Like, come, yeah, exactly. When is shit coming out now? And that's where we're at with PlayStation. So I agree with Griggity also that they blew their load. But, you know, with all this past that Sony has gotten, this generation, for the consumers, is it fair? Should Sony get a pass for not only, again, showing you that 2020 model over and over and over again to, to the point now to where they have nothing else to show you, and this is the first time. Think about it, This is Sony. This is PlayStation, the mother of gaming now. They've always had shit to show you. So oh. is Sony getting a pass for not showing you something and sitting out in E3 when they've never done that in 25-year history, for one, or 24-year history? And two, um, what 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 does that mean for the gamer that isn't a, f a fanboy that just wants to go and see games? Is that fair to them? It, does, is Sony again getting the easy way out because they don't have to perform like a Microsoft has to perform? You know, they're not held to the same expectations. Is that fair? Are, are the gamers losing out, or is it just something that MM2K is overblowing again? No, nah, man, it's not fair, but it is what it is. This generation, this is what this is what it is. Mm -hmm. Sony can do what they want to do, man. Like, listen, you saw it with your now. I follow you on Twitter, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the damage controlling from yeah. the PlayStation guys was absolutely ridiculous. Now, as Xbox guy, I know us Xbox guys, we damage control over stuff. Yeah. We are, yeah, yes, we, we are damage control over stuff, right? Uh huh. I even like I did on my video. I said, "Listen, people damage control over their damn kids." Yeah, so exactly. people, oh man, <laughs> little Johnny ain't hurt nobody. That nigga is a damn thug. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But exactly. you know, we damage control, right? But this shit that the PlayStation guys have doing over this is unbelievable, man. Mm -hmm. We've heard what have we heard? Uh, they don't need to show up. Mm -hmm. Microsoft yeah. sucks so bad they don't have to show up. You know? Come on, man. Yep. This That's is. Great. E3, the PlayStation, uh, uh, um, you know, they get a pass. This generation, they do. And it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. With that being said, I want to let everyone know that, hey, for shits and giggles, I was supposed to do this a few moments ago, but for shits and giggles, if you feel like calling in, you want to give me you you want to give me that business, you want to give me that work about my damage control of Fallout 76 or whatever it may be, phone lines are open. You can call in via Skype. We got it working, baby. It's 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 been tested and it's bug free. All right, it's Fallout 76 proof. Call in to uh call into what what do they call into? Uh Scram Punks. <laughs> Hold on, I think it's Scram Punks calls. Yep. Scram Punks calls at hotmail.com. 
and then scroll it on the bottom of the uh, of the screen here on the live ticker. So you can call into Scram Punk's calls at hotmail.com and we'll take your calls uh, for the next 10, 15 minutes max before we close out the show. All right. Any thoughts on uh, on what Griggity had to say to your rest before we move on? All I can say is that as far as uh, when you guys were talking about how, you know, Sony seems to be showing uh, last year's car again and again and again, uh, you know, with no kind of real progress or any kind of uh, uh, hints on what's going on. This may not be a very good analogy, but I did get that saying. I got that feeling with with Anthem. Mm hmm. That, that's where I really got that feeling when you just keep showing me the same thing every year saying yeah. it and, you know, not telling me it's when it's coming out exactly and, and it's the same game. And now now we've got trailers out. But when is it coming? Exactly. Yeah. You and know I mean? I'm going to be honest with you. I there, there have been a few. Yeah, I've gotten so much fatigue from Anthem because I haven't seen anything that blown me away. It was like at first it was cool, but then they started like showing you like some of the same shit that wasn't really like glam, you know, fancy, but it was looking more and more like a third party. I mean, a third person destiny. And I'm mm -hmm. like, Whoa, that's not what I was looking for here. And now it's like, there's new videos out. There's been new streams and I'm not in the rest of whatsoever. But. Yeah. I mean, they've been doing like 40 minute streams. Yeah. Uh, but it's February 22nd though. Uh, TRS February yeah, 22nd. February. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, we'll see. I'm I'm more excited for Metro Exodus than I am for yeah. Anthem. Yeah. You know, I love the Metro games. I love, love, love oh, yeah. both of them. Me too. Yeah, my friend is both of those guys. And, and I, um, I, the first one. Sure. I hope, and, and if anybody has them on Steam, the Metro Redo um, on PC, or they're $6 a piece. So you can get both, huh. like $12, $13 on Steam. So definitely check it out because those are the enhanced visual versions. And, you know, that, that, that team at 4A, they go all out with the visuals. Their shit is good. Oh, yeah. And if you got uh, Xbox, they're both in Game Pass, too. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Try them out. You know, the, I, those are those are two. Those are the games I like. I like the, you know, I like games with a different twist on. I don't like the same cookie cutter shit. So I like mm -hmm. that. Um, all right. Okay. <sighs> so this is one that grinds my gears. Okay. But we don't have too much time left, so I'm not going to go over this forever. The U.S. government loot boxes. So, <laughs> okay. Okay, there's no other way. Fuck it. There's no other way to say it but to say it. Our government has now been tapped to get involved into investigating loot boxes. And unfortunately, we have some dumb motherfuckers out here oh. that think that's a good thing. Um... TRS and I, and before we had the pleasure of having Griggity join the podcast, but we talked about this on a, on a subsequent show. We talked about to where, regardless of where you came down with loot boxes, um, that wanting the government to get involved at the FTC or the SEC level is not a good thing. Because let's just say if you fall on the side of where you think loot boxes are all evil, they're you know they're made out of baby baby skulls and shit like that, and and all this other horrible stuff. <laughs> Right, and baby skulls, <laughs> <laughs> and you want loot boxes to go away. Getting the FTC or the SEC involved does not make it go away. All it does is it sends out scouts to look at it, see if they can tag it as a commodity, and then tax you for it. So if there is a tax now on video games via loot boxes, because loot boxes are not going anywhere, they're too lucrative then guess who that tax trickles down to you you know what it you know what it is a big reminder of i, I must be like the uh, analogy lord uh, hey, uh, right now these, these people you, need it they need you know it. What, this, what this reminds me of and i've had this argument with so many weed heads <laughs> so many stupid weed heads I, w I wish weed was illegal weed needs to be illegal it's illegal in this state it's illegal in that state you know when it's going to become 150 percent illegal uh legal Mm -hmm. when it can be perfectly safely taxed exactly right it's not gonna be uh it's le it's legal so now you can grow it as much as you want in your backyard no you're exactly. going to get taxed yes. or it's still it, or it's going to be illegal to do that it you'll be able to freely do it more when it becomes lucrative to the powers that be you stupid motherfuckers you get <laughs> that's that's oh go ahead go ahead go ahead 
Greg, but, um, before I turn over to Gregory, I just want to say this. Just think about this. And again, I'm not trying to get political here. I'm just, I'm just telling it as it is. You get taxed for building your own house from scratch yep. on a piece of ground. You get taxed for building your house from scratch on a piece of earth. What makes you people look when a Fedra? We talked about this. When that poor football player, bless his heart, bless his family. You know what I'm saying? I hate to, you know, throw his name. I, I can't remember his name, but he played for the Vikings. Remember, he was taking ephedra, which was a, a, a fat reducing supplement, but you had to drink a lot of water, and he was like in a hundred degree heat. Oh and, yeah, and he died. And he died. Yeah. And everybody was like, Ephedra's horrible. Ah, oh, ga, ga, ga. Guess what the government did? They sent in the same scouts that they're about to send in now on loot boxes. And did they get rid of Ephedra? No. They just put it in pharmaceutical grade so they could tax the motherfucker. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. And big up to my homie Griffin Gaiman. We don't agree on a lot of stuff, and that's okay, because, again, diversity of thought. But Griffin Gaiman put on Twitter, he said, no, and he's against loot boxes. He said, no, we don't want to get the government in. And I'm, I'm going to say this before I turn this over to Griggity. This is where we were talking about before having diversity of thought, not just following the herd, not being sheep, and then just following this one sheep herder. Big up to my homie, Yong Yeah. He provides great informative content, but it's just the, 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 the um, editorial part of it that, that messes me up. As smart and as articulate as Young is, as much research as he does, he is salivating over this. And this is going to defeat the purpose that he fights for every day in his videos because he's always talking about prices gouging players. That's what's going to happen here because loot boxes are not going anywhere. They're too lucrative. And I had someone tell me in a DM, well, we're just not going to buy their games. You won't buy their games, but the majority of the casuals will continue to buy their games and you just won't be playing games. Mm-hmm. People, you got to wake up and you got to smarten the fuck up. Okay, again, stop being sheep and just following people under fake rage and then just jumping off the ledge like Thelma and Louise, Okay. Pay attention to your surroundings and have your head on the swivel and understand what's coming down the pike before you particularly start asking the government to get involved in shit. But before I go on and on in a rant, I'm going to turn it over to my to to, to the brother <laughs> Dirk Griggity. Save save him, Dirk. Save him. Ah, uh, so <laughs> they in don't want to be here, saved. <laughs> in, in Michigan, the sales tax is six percent, right? So hold on, let me do some math. So hold on, if I, if I uh, something that costs four ninety nine, then I okay. so okay. If I got a outfit that costs four ninety nine, now I got to spend five twenty eight. Is is that what you're telling me? If the government gets involved, yes, and they start taxing this shit, is is that what you're telling me, bro? <laughs> it might be even more. Because it's a gambling tax and gambling TRS, isn't it? Gambling oh, is 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 more here. I think the tax on gambling uh, assets are even more. I won't even mention another addiction: liquor tax. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Listen, man. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got the government involved in this shit, man. Just cause now those free to play games. Oh man. It's like, uh... <laughs> oh. The no, free to play wow. games, though, know, they make all their money off of the loot boxes and everything else. Listen, I I don't necessarily support loot boxes per se, but I support microtransactions, right? Right. People, when I would say that, people say, Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Mm-hmm. Listen, by me being 42 years old, I was around when Nintendo 64 games cost $70, 80 right? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what it's going to head back to because the yeah. government being involved in this. I don't know how anybody could be happy about that. Bruh. Why are you celebrating? Oh, they're going to get rid of loot boxes. The government's involved. No. <laughs> no. Yay. Like they're the long no. ranger and shit. You do, not, you, do not want, you do not want the government involved in this, man. No. I don't, <sighs> I don't get young. Again, I hate to call names. Young, I, I love his work. He seems so smart. Yeah, he, got, yeah. he has he hundreds do. of thousands of followers. How doesn't he not understand the ramifications of this? All he has to do is look up the whole case with Ephedra. The, yep. SC, the SEC and the, and the uh, FTC 
They just send out scouts to look at this and see if they can judge this as a commodity. I, I, I divvy in the financial world. That's part of my expertise. Believe you me, young, yay listeners, and anybody out there, whether you like loot boxes or not, I particularly don't care, and I don't know if the, I don't think the panel here cares. If somebody wants to spend a hundred thousand dollars to get their head beat with a cash register for a new cake, let them do it. As long as my price still stays sixty, I don't care. Now, where it gets too heavy-handed, like a Battlefront two, we're gonna just jump them. We're gonna step on their neck. But all the other situations where it doesn't affect me, that's fine. But even if you do hate loot boxes or microtransactions, whatever the case may be. Don't want the, I, I, the the argument here isn't you should like loot boxes and microtransactions. That's a different discussion. You don't want the government involved here. This is right. nothing to celebrate. This has nothing to do with liberal conservative. This just has to do with what is or what is it. Period. I don't get who who wants to pick it up from there. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I can't. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it hurts so much. Like yeah, wow, man. the pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're, you're 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 applauding this it's, wow yeah Real revolutions that came into existence because of this dumb shit come on man uh philosopher doom in the chat just, just, just laughed my ass off he said hey i need that register style on the sound effect for twitter everybody <laughs> now. Right. that wasn't a sound effect that was we finally got uh griggity to play fallout 76 that's what that was, oh, the, oh, that was, that's what that, was. <laughs> that, that was bethesda in the background yeah, that was bethesda. yeah they, was, they, were, they were raiding his house they sent robots they sent tech vault robots <laughs> um, but any other thoughts before we move on to the last little bit of thing, man? Again, <laughs> any other thoughts on this, man? One more thing. Just people, just do me a favor. No matter how young you are, how old you are, sit down and think. Think about how you feel about things. Think about the positives and the negatives, right? Mm-hmm. Don't just always go, like I said, it. we said it this whole podcast, don't always go off of what your favorite YouTubers say. Yes. Have your own mind. Think about this. Yes. Uh, microtransactions, uh, uh, something that you don't like. I mean, that's your opinion, but think mm-hmm. about this as a gamer. Yeah. These games are expensive as shit yeah. to make. That's mm-hmm. why things like Game Pass, PS Now is probably going to be the future. Yeah. Microtransactions, is something that's what people want to buy them. That's their business. Hey, Let them buy it. It'll offset our costs. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. If you got a damn pizza and you want to get some anchovies and some pineapples, that's your damn business. Exactly. I don't give a shit. You paying the extra. You paying extra for the pineapples. I don't care. Yep. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Exactly. That's a great analogy. As long as you don't force me to get the pineapples and the anchovies too, right. in order for me to get the pizza, I don't give a fuck what you what toppings you get. Now, once right. you start forcing me, then that's when we'll raise the fuck up. That's but, the problem. That's, that's when the problem stops. Exactly. But to, but people want to go too far left to right in the pendulum. Any other thoughts before we move on to the final topic? One 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 last analogy. One, yes, one last. This, this is, <laughs> if everybody, if anybody uh, that's listening knows what a ventriloquist is, mm-hmm. right. you know what I mean. I mean, you you want to. I mean, you want to talk about how the powers that be are always trying to control stuff and trying to uh, financially rob you and stuff like that. But then at the same time, it's okay for them to make things more convenient <laughs> and you take more control and stuff. And they take more control and things like that. Just remember, it is comfortable to let them do it for you, but keep in mind their hand is up your ass. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. That's what they want, right? That's and that's want. what they want. They want to be in bed too. I mean, but well, they want to be. That's all, folks. They want to be Lester, right? Wasn't they Lester? Yeah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I know these young folks know what the hell we talking about. It, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Exactly, yo. It'll be over soon. Uh, maybe it's just us because we're older. And I get a lot of these gamers don't have kids. They don't have responsibilities like we do. So we we see the full ramifications of that. But we're trying to help you in advance. And just imagine just looking into the hour to, to a crystal ball and seeing how things are going to affect you. You guys are setting yourself up for your own dooms by wanting this shit. And Young Yao, I, he, he seems to be successful on YouTube. I, I guess he has his own. I, I don't know if he lives with his parents or anything like that. I, all I got to say is, bro, 
Come on, man. You're a smart guy. You do a lot of well research. Your shit is put together. Do not take your followers down that path. Do not Thelma and Louise them off the cliff. Because that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> right. you're, you're taking them right off the cliff, bro. You do not. I mean, he's sitting there. Yes, and the government is going to get involved because psychologically, the, no. No. <laughs> you do not want the government involved in anything. You do, Like TRS said, you do not want that hand up your ass. Period. Right. Hey. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, man. It often well, makes I mean, me wonder if really good podcasters, if some of them are potentially agents. Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised. But that's for a whole nother podcast and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, finally, let's close out today talking about the VGAs and special announcements, particularly Obsidian and its new game. At the Game Awards. Now, I haven't been able to um, look too deep into this, um, but I know Grigity was paying attention to this. So, Grigity, mm -hmm. what information do you have on some of the... I, I've read a little bit about it, but some of the, the the things that have leaked out or have been exposed to the to the public about this new game they're going to show at the Video Game Awards. Well, I don't know much myself. I just know that um, they're going to announce it there, mm -hmm. and... It's probably going to be a multiplayer because it's, they were working on it before the okay. acquisition yep. with Microsoft. So there, it's probably going to be a multiplayer. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just totally interested now because they are first party uh, studio that Microsoft owns. Yep. Even though this game is going to be multiplayer, I'm just interested to see what is what is it going to be. Yep. Um, you know, uh, pretty much that's the only information I really read about it. Okay. I so, did see some trinkets about it to where it's like a steampunk slash space thing. It remind you know what it reminds me a lot of? And I know we've talked about this a lot in this series, but the, the assets and shit that they showed I've seen, that it looks a lot like Fallout. Okay. And we know Obsidian. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh man! Told y'all. I told you. <laughs> Damn it! Leave me. That's not what I wanted to hear. Now I'm talking. <laughs> uh, woo. Okay. Where was I? Um, <laughs> it did look a lot like Fallout, and as we know, I can't even finish up. <laughs> no, but it did look a lot, a lot like Fallout, and as a lot of people say. Their favorite Fallout was Fallout 76. So, I mean, not that goddamn it. No, Fallout. I know nobody said that shit. <laughs> I, know that shit. I know that's a goddamn lie. The hand is up your ass, too, MM2K. Uh <laughs> Dirt's going to go crazy. Hey, man, what did you have for dinner? Fallout 75. <laughs> I, I didn't ask you. Uh... <laughs> that shit Fallout. is on his mind, ain't it? Fallout 76. <laughs> Wake up in the middle of the night. Fallout 76. You okay, baby? <laughs> Watch like, yeah, Mars. Who the hell is Fallout, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Where the bitch at? I'm gonna get right? that bitch's face fall out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. My wife is crazy. She'll think some shit like that too. That I'm fucking around with somebody named Fallout. <laughs> Where, that, Where that bitch at? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, honey. <laughs> oh, but but Obsidian could be working on the Fallout game that everybody wanted. That's real polished, right? Uh, because they tried out for Protocol and it just didn't work. They were trying to branch off to some newer stuff. But right. Fallout's experience, they, they've dabbled in everything and they've done well there. Um, and if they do have a, a space trilogy or whatever this is that they're working on, I think their take on a Fallout would be cool if it's polished and if it's more you know for, um, obsidian knows how to make games that, that has mass appeal right. you know what i mean i mean that's one thing i can't give them credit over in regards to to bethesda bethesda knows how to supply games to its cult following uh, obsidian knows how to make shit that has a mass appeal that's why you hear more of the casual gamers say that they prefer um new, new vegas more than they like fallout 3 except with the exception of people like trs um, for some reason, he was on drugs and he likes New Vegas more than Fallout 3. <laughs> but um, with that being the case, man, this could be big, even though, like you said, Griggity, this um, is going to be a multi-plot game. What signal would this send 
if this is a very good looking game, but it's still a multi plat. What, what do you think, um, huh. TRS? If the, even if this if, if this game is still going to be sold on a PlayStation console, even though now Obsidian, as of what a month ago, got bought by uh, Microsoft, do you, do you think that's going to make People say, ah, who cares, you know, because the game is available everywhere, or is that going to say, aha, you know, in order for PlayStation people to enjoy this game, they got to pay Microsoft. What, what do you think is going to be the message there? Man, wow. Uh, it, it feels like it, it, I'm in doubt because it feels like a, a takeover, but not a takeover. Mm-hmm. It feels like there's something we never know what benefits both companies at the same time we never know what kind of mutual benefits that they well i don't Mm -hmm. i I never know i don't see any problem with it but i but i'm always skeptical i always have something in the back of my head like why is it being done this way who who's making the most money who's making money at all uh multi multi multiplats i i enjoy them but i i to this day i still don't really see the the big money making thing for anybody except for the company itself that made the game as far as that i'm i understand the concept of exclusives but I, i'm in doubt with it right now it's really hard for me to explain i i, I have something in the back of my mind like what what's next same with the uh, coming of ps5 i'm like in the slowness of what's being advertised now i'm like what's next something's coming you know they, they, this could evolve into something well I'm- uh, Griggity, what do you think that message will be? Um, the doom in the chat says the message will be it'll perform better on the X. You know, He's I mean, do right. you think That's... that you think Microsoft can some even though this is going to be a multi plat Microsoft somehow can turn this to their advantage? Absolutely, I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen. This, these are all the options, these mm-hmm. are all the possibilities. Uh, doom was right, that'll be one of the that'll be what the Xbox guys are going to say, hey, it's going to perform better on X, damn it. Um, if the game uh, sucks, PlayStation guys are gonna say this. Who y'all picked up? Y'all, oh, that's another like like J Dub yourself. Oh, that's the yeah. most sixty nine Metacritic shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, if the game is uh good, you no, know, uh, and the PlayStation guys enjoy it, Xbox guys enjoy it. I think that's gonna be a positive because of the Xbox guys. We know what I'm gonna say. This game is it's good that they haven't even got Microsoft money yet. Yeah, yeah, Just true. Just imagine, true. Microsoft, yeah. you know, they get some Microsoft the, that Microsoft budget behind them. So that's what I'm going to say. But mm. um, yeah, those are some of the things uh, that's probably going to be said. It's the game. You no, know, if it sucks, if it's good, uh, <clears throat> PlayStation guys, they're going to say, yeah, it's a multiplayer though. It's a multiplayer. You know, mm. like remember We Happy Few? Yeah, that game kind of came out. Yeah. Like the game sucked, but uh, you know they were like, "Yeah, it don't matter." It's all like like all their games are going to be on the PlayStation. Also, no, no, no. They just, <laughs> they just had a previous deal, mm-hmm. and they got to stay to that deal. But after, but moving forward, exclusives, baby. Um, I don't like. I don't know if I answered your question, but I hope no, I no, you did, you did. I, okay. I, I I think that was a very good point. I was going to follow up with um. Now, what if they flip it this way, though? What if they say, what if this game is good, right? Mm-hmm. And it's multiply. Then I can see someone like J-Dub's punk ass saying, well, <laughs> you know, this is before Microsoft got involved. That's the only reason why the damn uh, game is good. Wait till they get involved. They got to follow the Microsoft <laughs> way. That's another, that's another option. <laughs> I can never see J-Dub saying some shit like that. Hey, yo, he's a, m- remember way back in the day, uh, and we're really telling our age with this one, where you could go to the like the the candy machine or the or the toy machine, stick the quarter in, and there's little toys that's in the plastic bubbles. Hell yeah! And, and there was the octopus, <laughs> that little gummy octopus that you would wet and throw up against the wall and watch yeah. it crawl, and you would yeah. think you know where the motherfucker was going, but it would always go to. That's what PlayStation fanboys remind me of, right? <laughs> Every time they you hit them with something. Last year, hey, Microsoft only has two booths of, of floor space at E3, but them motherfuckers don't show up, and it's the smartest thing to two D. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Microsoft got got only 15 inches of booth space. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. over for Microsoft. It's over for them. They go. They gonna come to uh, just bull some hot dogs, and then they gonna take a shit, and it's gonna go splat. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what they say about us. But then Sony not doing it. Yeah, yeah, this, that, that's smart. That's smart. They're definitely going to do something in 2019 until, until they come out and say, no, we're not doing something somewhere else. Sorry. Right. Right. <laughs> you, you know? So. That's going to kill me. If that happens where they say they're not having a PSX 2019, I can't wait. Right. I can't wait to see Ain't these no fuckers' faces. Ain't going to be no escaping that. They can't escape it. Oh, they, well, PS5 coming out of 2020. Yeah, so is the new Xbox. Right. Exactly. And Sony and its 20 and, and, and the 24 years of E3 that it's attended, right? I think that's how long it's been. Yeah. They have never, never, never in preparation for a new generation said, we're not, we ain't, you know, we're just going to do something. They, they've never done that. And E3 is like an, an auto show where you, yeah. Well, you're just doing it for the consumer. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is like, hey, we, this is a consumer appreciation. And yes, there's overhead. Yes, it costs money for Ford to take the motherfucking cars from city to city to city. But you're doing it as consumer appreciation. You know what I'm saying? And so we're giving back. Yep. You know, and I get that we're in an age where everybody wants to cut back. But come on, man. Come on now. You spoke, you're for the gamer. Well, is this for the gamer? I don't know. I think they're they're definitely getting a pass for this, and 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 you know we're going to talk about it here a lot though. And you know I'll give it to Microsoft too, where Microsoft falls short, but Sony is definitely getting a pass for this. They have never in a generation ever said in preparation for a generation we're not showing up to the to the main event. That's that's bullshit. Mm. Um, that's like that's like again if if the Patriots were to go and they were to say you know what in preparation. Uh, for the pro uh, in preparation for the draft next year, we're not going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? We're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna stay. Hey, you know what? Though, you know what's crazy? Mm-hmm. This is the, this they making the the most money they have ever made exactly. ever. Thank you, including the PS2 era. This is the most money they they have ever made, and they're not showing up. They're not showing up. But Bo- bullshit. All right. So before we go, gentlemen, we're, we're talking. We're on the video game. Uh, uh, Thing. So I want to do. I want to do. What is the video game awards? Is it like next week or some shit? Yeah, it's next week. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not it's, sure what day, but it's definitely next week. Oh boy, it'll be fair. Yeah, I, look, uh, it will. It's look. Jack off Keegley is uh he he's a uh he's the the host he's the Ryan Seacrest or the the Ryan Dumpfuck of uh the video game world. And this is and the video game awards is just going to be a Sony circle jerk. That's all it ever is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, but with that being said, let's play this game. <laughs> let's try to guess real quick what we think are going to be the best games in, in some key categories. So first we have best multi-plat. We have hmm. um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Destiny 2, TRS's favorite game of life. Red Dead, man. Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Red Dead, yeah, yeah. They're gonna, they got that Red Dead. For if, if, what if Red Dead's online is like superb and it's not in this category? Because it's not right now. Wouldn't that be some shit? Yeah. Yep. So again, the 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 the, 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 the entrants are Call of Duty, Black Ops Four, Destiny Two, Fortnite, uh, um, uh, Monster Hunter World, and Sea of Thieves. So, which which w- what do you think is gonna make? Uh, Multiplat of the uh, of the year, best multiplat, Griggity. Probably Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. Yeah, I agree with that. What do you think, TRS? I know this might sound stupid, but I believe that this is partially political. Mm-hmm. I would say a good chance between Fortnite and Sea of Thieves. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Good night. I'm about to go and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he said Sea of Thieves. That's all the shit. And the only reason why I say that is because the way they keep dressing up this bullshit game, like it's they they must have it succeed. Mm-hmm. You know, I gotta be honest. That the arena mode, mm-hmm. I might reinstall that shit just to check that out. You know, the like the battle. Uh, you know, like you're battling four ships and everything. Mm-hmm. Seems pretty interesting to be yeah, honest. And <laughs> the problem with Sea of Thieves isn't the 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 goofy fighting mechanic that's not it i you know the, the problem with see if these is that it was empty with content so if they added so, content to it yeah. it might be worth a second look but you know yeah. they've been adding consistent content so i mm-hmm. might reinstall it just to see you know i yeah. tried to get my boys to reinstall it like hell no he's a hell no get the fuck out of here yeah he's like nah get that hand <laughs> off my ass hell no, no. 
I'm not, I'm not playing the puppet tonight. No. I'm not the puppet. I'm not no, Lester. I'm not the... <laughs> yeah, I'm not Lester today. You no, no, no Lester today. No, no Lester, Lester tonight. <laughs> we gonna get those, we gonna get them shirts made. Hey, graphic art, if you're watching, you know the shirts. We need them to say, "I'm not Lester tonight." No. <laughs> now, was, now was Lester the uh, the uh, man or the puppet? It was the puppet, I right? I think Lester was the Just puppet. The puppet. Yeah, yeah, it was the puppet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We telling our AZ, y'all hey, get to hit the internet. Who the hell is Lester the Puppet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Philosopher Doom in the chat says they going God of War bomb the votes. Yeah, God of War ain't nowhere near Red Dead. Sorry, I can't. I I, I haven't played Red Dead, but I mean, from the level of detail, three thousand developers, the money that's put into this, it's not hard to fathom that Red Dead is just of a quality that. You know, if it was any other year, definitely. But, you know, it's not hard to fathom. But I can't say with 100% certainty. But, you know. But, yeah, I agree with you. They are going to God of War bomb the votes. Definitely. I've watched it played, and I was blown away. So, you know, uh, I watched Red my Dead brother. Out of War. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Red Dead. I watched uh, my brother SP play it, and, and I, I was just sitting there like, wow, I, I have to have this. Yeah. And you know what, though? If you ask me right now, mm-hmm. between those two games, I would choose God of War because I haven't finished Red Dead. Uh-huh. And I absolutely love God of War. God of War is that beast, huh? Man, that game is off the hook. Man. I, 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 you know what I found refreshing is that they redid it in a way that even someone like myself could get interested into it. I was never interested in the prior God of Wars, um, and they do it in a way to where it, it, it is interesting, and they brought life back to that series, um, because they Santa Monica was was gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, man. Because that like um. What that last one did terrible. What was the name yeah. of the uh, God of War? Absolute, not absolute. Absolutely, yeah, Ascension or some shit like Ascension. that. Yeah. Ascension, yeah, absolutely, absolution. What the hell? <laughs> Ascension. Uh, yeah, that one did terrible. That one did terrible. <laughs> yeah, that 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 did do horrible. And, and and really, we weren't supposed to get that game. They gave up on it, but some somehow it came back. So it was is an amazing comeback story, and, and and a happy one at that. And and God of War is a good game. It's a good game, definitely. Definitely, you know, and you know whether it's my game of the year or not. I, I I still need to do my review for it. That's here nor there, but for it to be game of year for anybody, I can't blame them, man. That I mean that, fantastic. Even the ending, and I'm not a story guy, but that ending like just had me like when that next God of War comes out, I'm on it. Definitely, I'm on it. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and, and fantastic. Um. All right. And so what do I think the best multiplat is going to be? Um, I think it's going to be Fortnite, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah probably. Fortnite, and that's going to be sad. And that's, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you're right. Huh? And I might just turn off the show after. If they start off with that shit, I might turn the show off after that. All right, so uh, best sport. We have FIFA 19, Forza Horizon 4. Uh, what, is, what, what is M-T-E-N? What the fuck was I trying to write down? I don't know what that was. 2K19. Um, pro evolution soccer. Oh, Mario Tennis. That's what that is. And pro evolution soccer. Gregory. Oh, they did a new Mario Tennis, huh? Uh-huh. Gregory, what do you think is going to get it? Oh, man. Um, I don't know, man. We'll we'll put it like this. Do you think Forza Horizon 4 being the Xbox game, you think this will be the gamey, get the gimme one that they give? I hope so. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I mean, it probably should. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know. I'm going to be honest with you. Out of all these titles, I've heard more universal praise, even over 2K19. I've heard more universal praise for uh, for Forza than I've heard even over FIFA. Yeah. So yeah. this might be the year that it'll break through. But I, again, this is the it PlayStation should. Circle Jerk. This guy idolizes Yoshi. I mean, not Yoshida, but but uh, Kojima, who is an extension of, of Sony. I, who knows? Um. Next category, best action, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Far Cry 5, Destiny 2, Dead Cells, I don't know what the fuck that is, and Mega Man 11. Indie. I'll say Far Cry 5. You want to say Far Cry 5? What do you think, TRS? What do you think it's going to be? I think Far Cry 5. I, I love that myself. So I hope it's going to be Far Cry 5, but I doubt it. I think it's... Be, my personal one would be Far Cry 5, but I think it's going to be between either Destiny 2, because of Forsaken, I think it's going to be Destiny 2 or Call of Duty. I would have to look at that and kind of understand where you're coming from, because uh, Forsaken actually took Destiny back to that feel from the okay. uh, first one. Uh-huh. So I, I do, I, I can kind of see that as well. Mm-hmm. Do you think that you should wait 
to comment on anything that is Fortnite, uh, you should uh, just check and make sure that Zonky isn't uh, watching the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Zonky, Zonky 2K. He, I, I hate to put his business out there, but we had to. The, the, man, that, that Fortnite addiction is is serious, bro. We had to, we had we, we had to, we had to make some planning, and we had to separate my man from the from the. the <laughs> It was getting crazy. Hey, yo, this mug came up to me. I was taking him home one day. He said, Dad, can I get on Fortnite and get on your PC? I said, bro, I got to take you home, man. He said, oh, Dad, why didn't you tell me 15 minutes ago? I could have played some Fortnite. I said, oh, shit. Right? Who do you think you are? I think I'm going to slap your ass through this, through this goddamn car door. Yo. That Fortnite shit is serious, bro. So yeah, we 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 had to make a little separation there. Give him a basketball, open the door, and say go. Just go. <laughs> I don't <laughs> you know want him to cry. You know? Yeah, gave him give him a paper airplane, open the <laughs> open the door, and say outside, go outside. You know. But um, all right. Uh, I'm gonna skip the best action. Let's just do it. Game of the year. There's Assassin's Creed Odyssey, God of War, <laughs> Celeste, Monster Hunter World. Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption 2. Starting with Green, <coughs> what do you think it's going to be? Like, uh, for me, at this time, it's God of War, because I haven't finished Red Dead yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm on Chapter 3 of Red Dead, uh, but yeah, I haven't finished that. But I do think that Shadow of the Tomb Raider should have been in that category, man. I, I that so? game was damn good to me. Okay. I haven't touched that. I had it, too, and, I, and you know, I, I, get, I got the uh, airmail service so <laughs> sent oh, <it> okay. <laughs> yeah. for uh assassin's creed no 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 no. i sent it back for um red dead so i got and i still haven't cracked it open yet but um what do you think trs assassin's creed odyssey god of war celeste monster hunter world spider-man or red dead redemption 2 game of the year I would originally say Red Dead, but then I have to ask myself because before this whole Red Dead phenomenon took place, the the talk of the town was Spider Man. So I'm curious, what is the actual effect currently on people of Spider Man? You know what I mean? Is it still the the God game everybody's mm-hmm. talking about? You know, so it could be one of them too. I don't know. I think I really think Red Dead, but mm-hmm. at the same time, with what I'm still hearing today about Spider Man, it's like what what is its current effect you know on gamers i think spider-man more than anything is just a it's just a result of a um it being a playstation game right in the playstation nation just making it the, the boosting it up you know and b it being you know it's fair to say it's the best spider-man game that's been out okay so but with that but but there's a there, there's a there's a i don't want to say a fine line there's a thick line <laughs> between the best Spider-Man game out and something that's a God game. People are talking about it like it's a God game. It sure as hell helped sell uh, PlayStation 4 Slims, but I don't even, I'm going to be honest, Spider-Man shouldn't even be here. It shouldn't even be here. Uh, like, I hear more... I agree. Um, I, I hear more... Because um, um, all it is is a ripoff of, 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 of Batman. It's a ripoff of Batman... And I and I have like six hours into it, and I still got to. But it's a. It, it, it really hurts to hear that. Yeah, it's a rip off of Batman, which again, it make it's good. That they stole their mechanic, and they you know, and it's smooth and shit in the game. But game of the year, you know, game of the year normally means something. You know, your your own breath and your own take or whatever. And it by them ripping off the Batman series, they came up with the formula to make the best Spider Man game. And but you're referring on, to the fight mechanic, right? The fighting mechanic, yeah. But is it on the same level of, as a God of War or Red Dead Redemption or even <laughs> right. an Assassin's Creed Odyssey? No. Yeah, no. Okay. No, absolutely not. Is it a very good game, you know, that, that's nice to be in the, in, the, in the Sony basket for them to brag about? Definitely. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big fucking deal. But besides right. that, no. Right. I agree. It was a good game, man, but it's not. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you. No, definitely not. No, God of War. That's some, that's some, that's some old other shit. And I know Neethos is listening. Don't 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 shit yourself. Stop crying in the corner. You know what I'm saying? I got to get you back from for that Fallout 76 hate. But no, Spider Man in no way, shape, or form is is deserves to be on the stage. I'm sorry. No, I fuck agree. that. From Red Dead Redemption Two to with three thousand developers and people are just talking about this game left and right, the craziness. God of War with the the, the, the storytelling. I don't give a fuck how much you like Spider-Man. You, you like Spider-Man. Great. 
But this game is is good because it ripped off, not innovated. It didn't innovate the mechanics. It ripped off the mechanics of Batman of the Arkham series in the story. So I think it's good. <laughs> I don't know. This is a hard one. If it was any other group of people behind this show, I would say Red Dead Redemption. But again, it's the PlayStation Circle Jerk, Jack Off Keegley. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably gonna be. It's probably gonna be God of War. You hear people? I think it is. You know, people are. If God of War was a multiplat, I believe that everybody would be saying that Red Dead Redemption Two was the better game. But because God of War is not the multiplat, I think that a lot of people in the oh. PlayStation Nation are fighting for God of War because I've never seen. So much hate. I've people. I'm bored with Red Dead. People are hating on Red Dead. But from all intents and purposes, this is the greatest rock star game ever. Mm. The most well put together game ever. And y'all bored of it? No, no, I don't know. So any other year, I would say it'd be Red Dead. But um, this hey, the Red Dead game, man. Yeah, it's like they thought of everything that the gamer that the player would do. I saw hmm. a clip of someone putting a, a some dude that they tied up with a rope, hog tied, beneath the horse and let the horse shit on him. Oh, <laughs> and the dude wow. reacted. <laughs> it's like I know the game took a while to come out, eight years or something, yeah. but it's like they literally yeah. put so much detail in this game. Yeah. They thought of everything the player would do. I said, wow, this guy is actually reacting to being shit on. <clears throat> and you got to think about this, um, Dirt. Like, they took that time to create that new engine, right? right. And you know that right. engine is not just going to stick with Red Dead. They're going to use that same engine for the next Grand Theft Auto. Yep. Right. So can you imagine what the how the Grand... That might be a Grand Theft Auto that's going to make me actually keep it. Because normally with Grand Theft Auto, I will say five. I kept five for a month, and then after a while, I was like, yeah. But if they got that much level of detail to a more modern game like a Grand Theft Auto, bruh. It, it you know that that might be the game of the city that might just make the the earth explode and shit you know the, the hell with global warming the, the earth might just explode once yeah, the man. first copy of Grand Theft Auto Six is sold and shit you know That's some impressive shit man but it, it, but to, to what I was saying philosopher Doom brings up a very good point and then we'll close out after this <clears throat> he says what did a game do that's new and unique that's what I asked for game of the year title and you can make that case for God of War. God of War mm -hmm. took the whole God of War and, and and mixed it up and put it into something very interesting and with much more broader appeal. You can make that case for Red Dead Redemption 2. We just talked about that. You could even, you know, kind of make the case for, for a Monster Hunter World, even though I don't think that belongs here either. But you could definitely make that case for Assassin's Creed um, um, <clears throat> Odyssey. Where it again, like God of War, took the whole Assassin's Creed thing, making it more RPG ish, and just put it and just flipped it on its head. I don't think you can say that. Uh, and then Celeste, okay, whatever. But I don't think you can say that about Spider Man. It's a it's a solid game. It ripped off mechanics and, and integrated it into a Spider Man game, therefore making it the best Spider Man game. It's it stole the mechanics from the best Batman game. And then just put the Spider-Man aesthetic on it, and therefore it's the best Spider-Man game. <clears throat> but th these are th these other games: God of War, Red Dead Redemption Two, even Detroit. We talked about that. If you want to just throw and make it seem like that, I'm throwing shade at the, the PlayStation games. The way that they people talk about Detroit in the, the presentation of that game, that I seems like that's something more unique and, and more deserving on the stage. But whatever, you know. Because it's a financial win for Sony, to you know, it is what it is. Um, but with that being said, that is it for the show, people. I want to thank everybody, everybody for coming out because I lied and said the show was only going to be an hour and we went two hours. Uh, so I want to thank everybody that was in the chat. None of your business, Cali Rex, uh, Thomas Franks sending us that positivity, uh, Philosopher Doom. Magnetic Storm 25 and the homie, the bang house. Thank you for coming. 
I appreciate all of y'all straight up on behalf of myself, co-host, Dirk Griggity and TRS. We thank y'all for joining us. We thank you for tolerating our, our, our Ghibli Gook on Fallout 76 and, 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 and kicking it with us today. And as always, as always, you have hey, a... Boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mate. You say Fallout 76. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man dirt you're a low down dirty dirt mcgirt that's his mother your name <laughs> with that being said we're gonna roll out on that one y'all have a wonderful thank you magnetic storm you said great show guys thanks i appreciate it bro Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful He's game. Out. Oh shit, I can't even find the button to close the show. Hold on one second. I'm turning around. I'm on the I'm on a computer that ain't even on and shit. Goddamn dirt. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a wonderful gaming day.